Welcome back students. I want you to take out your English language textbook and workbook. Get ready. Textbook page 176. Workbook pages 146 to 147. Firstly, I want you to open the textbook page. Read the words in part A. Run away. Chase. Catch. Stop. Cross. Bake. Smell. Open. In part B, think about the words in part A and add them to the chart in part B. Think carefully, that for which action you use your hands, nose or feet. Now, open your workbook pages. They are mentioned in the slides. In part A, circle the word that tells us what the picture is about, the first one in your book has been done for you. In part B, you have few sentences with blanks, using words from part A, fill in those blanks. In part C, the words are scrambled. Pictures give you hints. Unscramble the words and write them in the space provided. Lastly, in part D, complete the sentences with the words from the word bank. Textbook page 177. A sequence is in order of things, read with me the story that is written in parts in the block. They play their favorite game. Manu runs away, they can't catch him, he runs very fast. Manu goes to the park with his friends. Ali chases Harry, he catches him, now Ali and Harry chase Manu. After reading this story, do you feel like it was in a proper order? No, it was not, let's try to form its sequence, we will number the sentences in their correct order. What will be the first sentence? Manu goes to the park with his friends. What will be the second sentence? They play their favorite game. On the slide you can see this story is already numbered, now you will number the next story in correct order, yourself. To get a hold on sequence. Textbook pages 178 to 179. The gingerbread man. One day, an old woman makes a gingerbread man cookie. She bakes it in the oven. It smells good. I'm hungry. The old woman opens the oven door. The gingerbread man jumps up and runs out the door. Stop. Don't run away. We want to eat you. The old woman and old man chase the gingerbread man. He should run fast. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. The gingerbread man sees a chicken in the yard. Stop. Don't run away. I want to eat you. The old woman, old man and the chicken all chase the gingerbread man. But he's too fast. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. He sees a cow in a grassy field. Stop. Don't run away. I want to eat you. The old woman, old man, chicken, and the cow all chase the gingerbread man. But he's too fast. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. He sees a horse next to a tree. Stop. Don't run away. I want to eat you. The old woman, old man, chicken, cow, and the horse all chase the gingerbread man. But he's too fast. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. The gingerbread man comes to a river, he should swim across it. Oh, no. I can't swim. The gingerbread man sees a fox. He shouldn't talk to the fox. You really shouldn't stay here. I can help you, climb on my nose and we can cross the river. Okay. The gingerbread man jumps on the fox's nose, the fox throws the gingerbread man up in the air and... Yum. Delicious. And that's the end of the gingerbread man. You have done the reading with me, and now, I would like you, to read the story one more time. Underline the difficult words and find their meanings. Now open textbook page 180. In part B, you have to number the pictures in the correct order, according to the story. In part C you have to number, in what order did they chase the gingerbread man. Workbook page 156. The Squirrels and the Snowman. Read with me. Underline the difficult words and find their meanings. This story is in the form of a dialogue, where two squirrels are talking and discussing. A narrator, is a person who tells you the story. So when you read narrator, before starting of story it means, the person who is telling you what is happening. Let's begin. Narrator, it is a snowy night, it is cold and dark in the garden, two squirrels find a snowman, the squirrels look at the snowman. Squirrel 1, what is it? Squirrel 2, I don't know, let's smell it. Narrator, so the squirrels look at the snowman, and they smell it, but they don't know what it is. Squirrel 1, it can't move. Squirrel 2, so it can't chase us. Squirrel 1, we should play on it. Narrator, the squirrels run all over the snowman, they pull off his hat and the carrot for his nose, but, suddenly. Snowman, what's this? Who are you? Squirrel 1, oh, no. Snowman, you shouldn't climb on me. I can move. I can chase you. Squirrel 2, run away. The squirrels thought that the snowman couldn't move, so they can play on it, but they didn't know that it could. I hope you like the story. Workbook page 157. 
understand. In part B, number the pictures in the correct order. In part C, complete the sentences with the words in the word bank. Grammar in use. Textbook page 181. Workbook pages 150 and 151. Textbook page is concept, which I will be covering, so open your workbook pages. Should and shouldn't are used to advice. For example, your parents advise you to not use sharp objects. We can use this idea in sentence like, you shouldn't play with a knife. Another example is, you should complete your homework in time. Two other examples are written on the slides. Let's come to the workbook now. Part B, rearrange the words to make correct sentences or questions. Part C, under each picture, you are given two words. Using these two words write sentences in the space provided. The first one is already done for you. Part D, under each picture, there is a question. Find the answer from the picture. Here again the first one is done to help you out. Activity 1. Make five sentences of should and five sentences of shouldn't in your notebook. Communicate. Textbook page 182. Workbook page 160. Open the textbook page. Part A. Read the words. Go to bed. Play outside. Early. Late. Healthy food. Junk food. Part B. Complete the chart from the words in part A. Now open your workbook. Part A. Match the words to the pictures. Part B. Complete the phrases, tick the sentences that you should do and cross the ones that you shouldn't do. Part C. Write true sentences for yourself, you should only write what you really do. Writing study. Textbook page 183. Punctuation review. Full stop question mark, comma, exclamation mark. Where do we use these punctuations? We use full stop at the end of a sentence. We use question mark at the end of a question. We use comma to separate three or more words in a sentence. We use exclamation mark to express emotions. Look at your textbook you have been given sentences, rewrite the sentences with correct punctuation. Let's review, noun, verb, an adjective. Noun is the name of anything. Verb is an action that is being performed. Adjective is a word that explains a noun. In the next part you have two sentences. Mary plants roses. And. The kitten chases the small mouse. Circle the nouns. Underline the verbs in. Draw a square around the adjective in both these sentences. Activity 3. Make a table in your notebook, like the one I've made in slides. Now write five nouns. Five verbs in. Five addictives, each. Writing study. Workbook page 153. Every sentence is missing a punctuation, write that missing punctuation. For example, can it move? What punctuation will come here? Part B. The words written in part B are in the sentences in part A. Read the sentences and find out if that word is a noun, a verb, or an adjective. The first one has been done for you. Writing parts A and B are creative writing, do them as you want to. Review. Workbook pages 162 to 163. These pages review the unit you have read before. Complete these pages on your own. You have been given all these concepts earlier. Activity 4. Creative writing. You are being given two creative writing topics. Think about these topics and do the creative writing in your notebooks. The topics are, my first adventure, and, if I get rich. English language syllabus is finished, now you will move on, to the revision worksheets. Don't forget to subscribe the channel.